from Lions Clubs International, this is LQ, Lions Quarterly. The well-being of the world's children is a top priority for Lions. I think doing a small community project like this can make a huge impact. Because Lions live in more than 200 countries, they are uniquely positioned to address issues affecting children. There are some common problems and there are some common solutions, but they're going to be delivered in different ways to different cultures. And that's where the Lions come into play. We act locally and we think globally. We have some action steps to take us forward. Recently, Lions Clubs International hosted leaders from 24 organizations for a symposium on children in need. We've got to make sure that we create a link to that social glue that is groups like Lions Clubs, which you have to be as willing to take action uh, and do it with others. Every year, more than six million children die from causes that can be prevented. A lot of it is particular diseases that kids are dying of, pneumonia, malaria, but then things like water and sanitation and nutrition. By providing clean water, sanitation and vaccines, lions are saving lives. The children had big tummies from worms in their bellies. Some children were dying from stomach aches, but that doesn't happen anymore. This water means hope for them, a new life for them. When they don't have water, we will try to find a way to have water right to the doorstep. Through the One Shot, One Life campaign, Lions are mobilizing funds and communities. There are still a lot of children that are not vaccinated. That's why it's very important to have this campaign. Sometimes the gender barriers are actually men not supporting mothers and wives to take their kids to clinics. So I really think the Lions Club as leaders in communities can make a really big difference. Better health care for children and their mothers is key. I think it's important as we look at different ways to help children to understand that the gateway to that so often is mothers. Around the world, Lions provides safe places for childbirth, nutritional counseling for pregnant women, support maternal milk banks, and more. We've been working with the Maternal Milk Bank Project for five years to help combat child mortality. With education, it's about getting more children, especially girls, into school. For every year a girl stays in school, it will help her future family and herself economically. And expanding early literacy. There is an extreme barrier to access to books and good storybooks for young children in particular. Wiggle your fingers all around. We went to this school for the teen moms to create that children's library. Lions Reading Action Program continues to spark innovative community-based projects. We saw the need for a mobile library to reach people without access to books. Children with disabilities are often left out. That's why Lions advocate and provide services for them. We are very happy to help these young children receive the therapy they need. For these physically challenged people, we are doing sports. For deaf students, it's very important for us to make them a good education. Progress is being made, but there is much more to do. It is really at the community level where these issues are going to be solved. As Lions, we have the opportunity to make a huge difference in the world. When Katrina hit, we weathered the storm pretty well. We opened Shaman High School as a shelter. It's when the levees broke that the entire community was destroyed. People started coming in in droves. In 15 minutes, we had eight feet of water in the first floor of Shaman High School. St. Bernard was totally 100% devastated. There was not a home, not a church, not a school, not a business that survived. We all realized if this community was ever going to come back, it had to have schools. With help from Lions and LCIF, they began to turn heartache into hope. We set up a makeshift school and opened November 14th, 2005 with 334 students. To address the need for transportation, LCIF helped replace 70 buses that were lost during Katrina. Then LCIF and Lions worked to re-establish a library, provided computers, and helped rebuild the Industrial Arts Department. 
It was clear that the new Shalmet High School was going to be bigger and better than before. We said, let's build a facility where children in one place can experience everything. To create an environment for children to learn and really to become well-rounded adults. They also wanted to address their changing student population. 79% of their students were now living at the poverty level. And since Katrina, there were no hospitals in St. Bernard Parish. How and where would students receive medical attention? How can I help you today? Why not at school? Again, LCIF provided a grant to build a state-of-the-art health center at Shalmet High School. The warmth and generosity of the people that we talked with at LCIF was incredible. And they understood the need that, that we had. So they helped us secure that funding to build the structure. They see on average more than 60 students a day at no charge to families. Hi, Carrie. How are you today? I'm doing good. Student participation is at 99%. The services we offer include general medical care, as well as dental care, psychological care. We have a psychiatrist, psychologist, and social worker. We have two nurses, a medical assistant, and a front office person. We've actually saved kids' lives because they were diagnosed in that clinic and they needed immediate attention. Because students are treated at school, attendance rates are up. And then I'm gonna put this on your finger here. And because the level of care is so high, the center has received an award for excellence from the state. It also receives top marks from parents and students. They diagnose them with a vitamin D deficiency. They monitor it, they call in prescriptions. They let us know what's going on. I am really impressed. My parents work very strict schedule, so for us to be able to go to the health clinic is very beneficial. What happened to your ankle today? Every time I go, they make sure you feel comfortable, they ask you plenty of questions, and they make you feel like family. People helping people is what Lions and LCIF is all about. Those funds really did help people. The Lions came to it. I like to call a Lions Club meeting. And the staff from St. Bernard Parish Public Schools wanted to come through for others, so they chartered their own Lions Club. It gives us the opportunity to give back in just a little way how so many worked so hard to give to us. Now don't bring me the phone. Jimmy may look like an ordinary dog, but when he barks, people listen. And this has saved Cindy Martell's life. Jimmy is a seizure response dog, and Cindy has epilepsy. Jimmy changed my life because before I didn't know if I cross the street, do I'm going to fall and a car is going to pass on me because it's not going to see me. Once when she fell in winter, she almost froze to death. My life was always just like stuck in like a cat who's in the cage. Cannot go out, cannot do nothing. Enter Lions and the Lions Foundation of Canada. Our mission is to train and provide dog guides to Canadians with physical and medical disabilities, and it's all at no cost to the clients. Getting puppies ready for the training center is one of the ways Lions support the foundation. We get the puppies when they're seven weeks old. Lion Harry Marison is fostering his 10th dog. We do the basic training to socialize them, and then when they're about a year old, they are called back to college. Lions also participate in fundraising. Lions all across Canada have walks to raise funds for the Dog Guide School. At approximately $25,000, the cost to train and place one dog is high. It includes months of training for the dog. The girl and a three-week training for the recipient at the center. The dogs are in training here at the school where they learn their formal obedience and skills like fetching things off the floor, opening and closing doors. Push. Good girl. They can fetch items out of the fridge. The foundation trains dogs to assist people with vision and hearing loss, autism, physical disabilities, diabetes, and people with epilepsy like Cindy. If I tell him to go get the phone, he's gonna go get the phone because if I need to do the 911, something like that. But if Cindy has a seizure, he's gonna bark and bark and bark till somebody's gonna come. One of Jimmy's greatest gifts is his ability to anticipate Cindy's seizures. She do a nine seizure back to back. They take maybe two, three minutes. And because Jimmy bark first, I can do something for Cindy. 
but the situation has caused financial hardship for the couple. I lost my, my job uh, because of the epilepsy and my husband too because he needed to be with me. A news article about Cindy's financial challenges brought her story to the attention of local lions. And we decided that we would uh, pay for Jimmy's food. It's your favorite kind. And those lions were just doing what we swore we were going to do is to help the less fortunate. Now Cindy does what she can to raise awareness about epilepsy and dog guides. My husband sent up a Facebook page about the lion dogs, about the, the Caesar and things like that. She also participates in the fundraising walks and has appeared on numerous television shows, telling her story and spreading the word. The lion changed my life. I have Jimmy in December. He was the, the best gift of Christmas. It's a simulation. It's okay. Mommy's all right. See? Mommy's all right. Nearly half of the world's children live in poverty. 12-year-old Melvin knows what that feels like. He lives with his grandmother in an impoverished community where poor living conditions result in health issues, such as tuberculosis, chronic respiratory and digestive problems. Lions helped establish the Melvin Jones Health Center near Trujillo, Peru, more than 10 years ago. This 24-hour health center is the only one of its kind helping people who don't have resources to pay for the services they need. 300 patients are seen every day for general medicine, pediatrics, emergency care, and childbirth. Lions are as proud of the center today as they were the day it opened in 2002, the same day that Melvin Jones Gil Garcia was born. Melvin Jones fue el primer niño que nació Melvin was the first baby born in our center on the day of inauguration. As a symbol of gratitude to the lions, the mother decided to name him Melvin Jones. Lions wanted to find Melvin for the international president's visit. And that's when they discovered his parents abandoned him and he was no longer in school. My only income is selling recycling materials to support my grandson and the rest of the family. I wanted him to go back to school, but I couldn't afford it because my daughter was very sick and I needed to help her with the doctor's bills. When past international president Barry Palmer met Melvin and heard his story, he thought, what if Lyons helped him to return to school? He knew Lyons could make a difference in his life. Lyons accepted the challenge to help Melvin with his education through secondary school. We started getting to know Melvin and set up the psychological and health evaluations he needed. Melvin was malnourished, and knowing that hungry children do not learn well, Lyons arranged to have him receive breakfast and lunch at the home of his neighbors, the Garcia family. In the beginning, Melvin was shy and didn't communicate well. Now he's more talkative and has put on some weight. Lyons provided his uniform, backpack, books, and school supplies and helped re-enroll him in school. He was placed in grade two. Melvin was at a much lower level than the other students, but he has advanced a lot. We consider this a great accomplishment. Lyons arranged for the Garcias to tutor Melvin. He's learning at a steady pace and retaining what he learns. He is studying math and reading, but is also learning to work with computers. Knowing how to use these devices is essential to perform well as students and later as professionals. He's changed 100%. He's happy now. I feel like this is a dream. Finally, my grandson has an opportunity for a better life. Lions are extending support to all children by donating books, reading with students, and expanding the Lions Quest program that teaches character education and life skills in a fun and interactive way. Education is important. It's like a passport that opens the doors to the world. Now the door is open to a better future. Send your story suggestions to lq at lionsclubs.org.
Be sure to like and share LQ on social media. LQ is available on our website, YouTube, iTunes, and DVD. Thanks for watching LQ, Lions Quarterly. Thank you.